So guys, Robbie Lawler, the chief suspect in the murder of the Drawer teen Kimo Reedy Woods, was named in court as the man believed to have shot the mob boss Owen Maguire. Maguire, whose associates are involved in a deadly feud with the rival anti-Maguire faction, had been left paralysed from the chest down and confined to a wheelchair as a result of being shot a number of times back in 2018. In a document which forms parts of the Criminal Assets Bureau's case against Maguire, who's 38 years old, and his brother Brendan, a senior member of Angara Shekhana said, it is believed that Robbie Lawler was the person who shot Owen Maguire. Brendan, Owen's brother, was also the victim of an attempted murder back in February 2019. He left the gym in Drora when a gunman fired at Brendan while he was in the passenger seats of a car. Brendan was struck in the upper body and arms and survived and guards believe members of the anti-Maguire faction carried out that attempted murder. So in this document it was also stated that Mr Lawler was an associate of the leading member of a rival drugs gang operating in the Drora and wider area. And they mentioned that Maguire was shot a number of times at a halting site on Cement Road in Drora. The senior member of the force said the person who shot Owen Maguire alleged to have said words similar to these are from, but then they didn't mention the name. The senior member also said that they believe the shooting of Owen was the start of a vicious feud. The document also went on to say a member of Angara Shiohana also said they arrived at the scene of the shooting at the attempted murder on the night of July the 5th, 2018. It said approximately at around half 12, I received a call from the divisional control room advising of reports of shots fired at the Mel halting site on the cement road. The officer said they observed a gold fall transit van parked facing inwards at the bay of the halting site. The driver's side of the van was open and Owen Maguire was found lying to the driver's side of the van. The Ford Transit is also on a list of assets now being targeted by the CAB including €270,000 in cash found at an address a month later. So as we all know, Lola, he was shot dead in broad daylight back in Belfast in April 2020 and he was stopped by guards a few hours after the attempted murder of Maguire. It was believed that he was stopped north of Louth for driving with a flat tyre. When the guards approached him, it is believed that he was stripped to his underwear and doused in petrol when the car he was driving was stopped. Guards believed he was semi-naked and doused in petrol to remove any traces of gun residue following the attempted murder bid. He had been summoned to appear before Dundalk District Court on a number of driving offences. However, on November the 8th, 2020, just seven months after Lola was murdered, the court presenter told the judge, this matter can be struck out. The defendant is deceased. So Robbie Lola was feared by a lot of people and it's believed that he had massed over 100 criminal convictions. It's believed that at the age of 24, he emerged as a chief suspect in several gangland killings, including that of David Lynch in 2009 and Noel Deals the following year. And it's believed that Robbie Lawler also had a number of enemies, including the notorious Dublin criminal Mr Big, with whom he had fallen out with several years ago over money. And it's believed that they became sworn enemies, and Robbie Lawler quickly became a major suspect in the killing of Mr Big's right-hand man, Kenneth Finn, back in February 2018. So guys, that's a new story coming out from Ireland, where it's been confirmed in court that it was Robbie Lawler that pulled the trigger on Owen Maguire. It's your boy GC. Keep it locked. Keep it real.